Hi guys, this is Lee from Lee Bishop Photography, and um, I've done some previous videos editing this image to get to this point, um, so you can see them on my channel. But we're at the point where we, we've done the retouching that we're going to do, and now I'm on to um, adjusting sort of contrast, lightness, darkness of certain areas, color alterations, etc. Um, I'm going to edit this photo in color initially, uh, but then I will um, do a black and white conversion as well. Um, I like doing that with my photos these days just to get a different feel for it. Um, and it's fun. So, but we'll start with altering the light. Now I tend to like to have my subject be the point of focus and drawing the eye to the subject um, by darkening the edges. So it's kind of like doing a vignette. Um, I just like to freehand it. So I get my lasso tool and I'll just draw kind of a, an irregular slight vignette. Don't want it to be too fancy and then go around the outside. Oh, missed a little bit there so I'll just, oh, I normally have it set like this. Okay, sorry if I was do that again. Right. Okay. And then I right click inside the selection area and I go refine edge. Okay, and then I go to the feather and I feather it. Quite a soft feather, I don't want it to be an obvious line. So on this one it's about, we'll start with uh, maybe about 600 pixels. Click OK. Okay, and I've got that selection and then I click my curves layer and it will load that selection onto the layer mask. So I'm just going to be affecting the areas that I wanted to. Um, so you can either just drop it down like that. I like to sometimes drop it down from the highlight end so that we're actually reducing the contrast a little bit as well at the edges, making it darker. And then I probably want to do that again, but I'll do a slightly smaller selection area. So we're kind of building up the darkness fading away. So again, click, right click inside, refine edge, feather, maybe out somewhere 430, that looks good there. Click OK. Click on the curves again, drop it down, maybe drop that down a little bit as well. I also like to, to sometimes make my edges a little bit more matte. So I'm going to bring the black end up a little bit and then darken it down a little bit more. Okay. So that's without, that's with. This one, my first one is maybe a little strong. I'm just going to drop that back a bit. There we go. I'm going to group those. So select them and press Command Control G. And I'm just going to label that curves. Keep all my curves in one place. Okay. And as a group, if I feel it's too strong, I can just reduce the whole thing a little bit. That looks good to me. Okay. Um, so just tiny little adjustments. The next thing I'm going to do is. Um, create some luminosity masks. So I have an action for that. I'm going to be honest and say that I don't know how to do it manually. I have a, a quick action from Pratik Naik uh, from Solstice Retouch, but there's lots of actions I'm sure you can get online. I'm just going to press play and it's going to automatically make me some luminosity masks. And there's some really neat little um, sort of add-ons, plugins, panels that do luminosity masking as well. And I think they do it in a more efficient way. Um, I haven't tried them yet, but they look really neat and I keep meaning to. Because now when I go into my channels, I have all of these. I've got my RGB, my red, green, and blue channels, but I also have all of these ones. That's my lights, my light lights, my bright lights, my super lights. Anything that's white is going to be affected. So it's like a normal mask, okay? And I can turn these into layer masks for a curves adjustment layer or a levels adjustment layer or whatever you want to use it for. So I find them really convenient, but they do um, 
vastly increase your file size when you do this. Um, so if you care about file size, you might want to delete them all at the end. So I want to just increase maybe the bright lights. So I like the look of that one. I need to actually make sure I'm clicked back on the RGB. Remember that it was bright lights I liked. Press Command and select. Okay. And even if you don't see any little marching ants, see there's some there and you can see them. But sometimes if it's like not a big area that's selected, it won't physically show you those, but it still has made the selection. So don't worry about that. Go back to layers. Press a curve adjustment layer. And you can see there in your mask, it's loaded that in. Um, and then I can just increase that and it's going to only increase that area. So I like what it's doing on her face, like it's just giving that little bit of extra oomph to the highlights. Um, it's making her dress a little too bright for my taste. So I'm probably just going to show my layer mask, get a brush, and put it on black, maybe like 9-10% and just brush on that. Just there to bring it down. Okay. And then it also, you know, made the flowers a lot brighter, so if you feel like you don't like that, you can always paint out the flowers if you think they're getting a little too bright. Maybe drawing attention too much. Do that. Okay. I don't especially want her arm to be too too bright. Okay. And I'm going to change that to luminosity because I don't want it to change. Um, Sometimes when you um, alter the brightness of something by a curve, so if you um, make it brighter, it loses saturation, and if you make it darker, you get more saturation um, on the normal mode, so that's normal. I don't know if we can see that when we zoom in. Let me just look. So that's her face. Normal mode. I got a luminosity. It does change it slightly. Um, luminosity mode will make sure it just changes your brightness and darkness without affecting your um, color saturation at all. I'm okay. talking to yourself. No, I'm not talking to myself. I'm making a video of Ben. Sorry, this is my two-year-old. Um, he thinks I'm talking to myself. Um, so that for me is fine. If we wanted to add a little bit more contrast, maybe look at the darks. So this is super darks um, or Mama? shadow darks. Ben, can you be quiet for a minute? Another one. There's another one there. What I sometimes like to do is make the shadows a little bit matte. Um, maybe just the super, super darks. Okay. iPad. So I'm going to go to the super darks and select those. So command click super darks. Back to my layers. Okay, and then you can see if you want to make them a bit darker. You can, or if you want to just mat them a little bit, you can do that as well. Right? I quite like that. I don't necessarily want it on her, so again, what I'll do is I'll get my, um, I'll paint on my layer mask with a, a black brush, and I'll, I'll paint that off of her because I don't want her shadows to be too matte, certainly not around her face. And that will help to make her pop out from the background a little bit as well. Because there's that difference there. Okay, so I'm going to group those into a luminosity mask groups. Okay, and now I think I'm ready to, to do some color alteration.